Well, everybody, I'm back with another tutorial video. And the last video I made was how to break down the arm of a O-ring figure slash A-raw figure from the uh, 80s and 90s. So it's only fair that I come back and show you guys how to actually install rivets for your customs or repairs, you know, no matter what the, um, the circumstance would be for that. But, okay, so first off, I'm going to tell you, this is the rivet tool that I use. Now, before you ask for a link in the description or anything else like that, I'm going to just say, I don't know how you can get one of these. I, uh, I, I bought the tool, but like I said, it was modified by a friend on Facebook and I'm not exactly at liberty to, uh, dis to discuss who he is or, you know, if he wants to even make more. So just want to get that out of the way. But what I can tell you is you can buy the rivets and there is another rivet tool. It's called an easy rivet. It's more of a, uh, you put it in like a little vice thing and you, and you turn it to tighten the rivets. But anyway, the rivets that you buy, you can, uh, you can just get on eBay and search for, uh, rivets for GI Joes. And I buy from Lucky Treasures, the store on eBay. So great deals, you know, 25 to $30, you'll get 200 rivets, which will do 50 figures. Okay, and another thing I should say is this beautiful translucent figure that I'm working on is from uh, uh, my buddy Bootleg Customs. He's on Instagram. You can reach out to him. He, he does some great, amazing O-ring stuff. So what I did was I went ahead and put one together to show you guys. Um, amazing. I'm not sure. I think this glows in the dark. I'll, I'll find out later once I get them all assembled. But as you can see, it's full Zartan. Uh, all the parts are over here. I'll put them together later. But today's video is about the arms. So let's get right to it. Okay. So how I like to start, the first rivet I do is the elbow rivet. Okay. And we all know that the real American hero figures had the uh, had the rivet heads on the inside, you know. But I'm weird, and I like to do the heads on the outside. Makes my stuff kind of unique, and I just think it looks better. Now I uh, I went through, and his cast pieces are are very clean. And nice but sometimes you got to go in and just clean it out just a little bit just so the rivet will go through that should be enough all right let me get right to it if you guys can see this okay let's see if I want to make sure I can get it where you guys can see but like I said I do the rivets for the elbows I'm going to get in there. Come on, baby. There we go. All right. I like to do them on the outside. Call me weird. I don't care. Now, as you can see, my tool here has a concave that the head of the rivet nestles inside of that. So I want to make sure I line it up. I might be a little bit shaky today. I just got off work. But with these things, you just squeeze them like pliers and you'll feel the tension how you can't go any further. Don't try to, don't try to put all your force into it. Just get it good and snug. And you can see that joint is nice and uh, it's not loose. So that's a good thing. Okay, I'm doing it this way for a reason, guys, because it helps me and you can do it however you're comfortable. But I like to do the elbow rivet first. That way it gives me more to hold on to when, okay, and I see something here. I'm just going to, there's like a little spur on this, like an, uh, where it was 
pulled out of the mold. So I'm just going to get that out of the way so we got no hindrance on the articulation. All right, almost there, guys. See if we can get a rivet through here. Now, okay, I've got everything lined up. From what I told you last video, the two upper arm pieces, they fit together beautifully. I put the shoulder ring in, and as I'm holding all three pieces together, I'll go ahead and put my lower arm in place. All right. Sometimes I'm not the steadiest guy, but all right, we got it good, good and lined up. Now let's get our other rivet in. All right, there we go. Did you hear that snap? That's what we want. I want to make sure the, the tail end of the rivet is all the way into the, it's got three connection points. So you want to make sure you're all the way through. Get the handy dandy tool out. Like I said, guys, I mean, I do a lot of arms. I'll do small runs of exclusives with, with people I team up with. And this is real easy for me. And you might want to try to modify your own tool like this. But I do know there is the easy rivet tool that's out there that's, that you can purchase. And I think it's only like eight or nine bucks. It takes a little bit longer and you have to screw it in like a vise. But... I'll show you there you go so pretty soon we'll have this uh nice translucent zartan mall put together thanks for watching guys